Uh, however, these gentlemen were able to take care of the, rep <laughs> the uh, reclaimed German uh, Pac-38 that was being used by the Allies there. So, uh, once again, just lots of slugging back and forth. And I'll, I'll tell you this now, the reason why I love this game... Uh, this particular replay so much is because uh, it has a nice linear progression through all of the various stages of battle and it's pretty it's pretty consistently ramps its way up all the way to the end and uh, everybody constantly fights very competently throughout and uh, it's just a phenomenal game because right now we're still in like the early stages we've just hit tier two we're starting to see you know armored cars fighting around but this game just goes all the way through all of the tier and it's a nice big long game once again you guys ask for long games uh, so I will continue to deliver and uh, play <laughs> deal with all these long games here because, uh, uh, you know, I've been behind a little bit of my company heroes anyway. So, uh, By the way, the real Slim Shady, uh, I do know him from the forums, and he's currently ranked like 7th on the 1 versus 1 ladder. Really good out there. I have no idea uh, who his ally, Mr. Super Silver Reloaded, is. Epiphany and Doll SSDK definitely had some teen games. I'm going to go ahead and swap over to Epiphany's point of view. And uh, just mind the minimap color changes there. And man, look at that. Taking out the armored car once again. Unfortunately, losing two armored cars is a real big setback. You can see these guys are going to try and pick up uh, their pack 38 and get out of there. And here we have it on the battlefield right now. Our first sign of uh, somebody picking up... Uh, somebody picking up their commander abilities. I'm going to go ahead and check out Super Silver Reloaded. Yes, uh, he has uh, selected the Howitzer, so he is an infantry commander. And you can see, check out these guys. Oh, unfortunately, putting a Panzer uh, uh, Panzer Shrek right into a tree right there. This sniper comes to the rescue, though, uh, picking off one of those gentlemen, forcing him out of here. But you can see they were trying to hunt through the woods and uh, take out these anti-tank guns, one being American, one being German. Uh, but anyhow, so we have an infantry commander in the field right now. Again, I want to take a peek here at Slim Shady. Uh, he hasn't spent any points yet. And uh, let's take a look at uh, Doll SSDK. We haven't seen him for a while now, our Panzer Elite uh, player. Uh, he is continuing to move out through all... Uh, he just has tons and tons of Panzer Elites. Ooh, we see a Mortar Team out there right now for Epiphany as well. So Mortar Team, brilliant at this phase of the game. We just saw two armored cars go down, uh, two Greyhounds rather. Oh, Sniper right in the face. Uh, so mortars are going to be great for holding down any sort of defenses here. I would love to see another machine gun get back into this building at some point. Uh, and as you can see, uh, the anti-tank guns are just kind of holding off holding off this side of the map right now, just kind of pre preventing any sort of armored push. Uh, however, there's not much there. And here we see, it looks like we have a Panther battle group going on right now. Let's take a look at Saul's, uh, sorry, at, at uh, Dahl SSDK's base. You can see he's got the Logistics Company, the Panzer Jaeger Company, Panzer Support, and the Kampfgroove Company. Uh, that's all you need to unlock the Panzer battle group uh, ability out there. I couldn't name all the things that you need exactly. Uh, but he is going to be saving up right now for a quick Panzer battle group rush, it looks like. Uh, that's why he's just been dinking around right now with all of his Panzer Grenadiers, despite having all that tech. Uh, for about a 1,000, uh, he will get two Panthers out on the field pretty soon here. So uh, luckily, the Allies definitely have uh, their anti-tank guns and stuff on the field, but they are having quite a hard time dealing with all of these gentlemen right now. You can see them uh, snapping off shots right there, continuing to put pressure on these wounded anti-tank guns. Uh, the sniper is going to have to come back to help out in the woods once again. <laughs> Uh, let's take a look out here in the front of the base. You can see the resupply is happening here, uh, but obviously uh, just saving up some money here. Nobody's uh, managed to gain control of the center there for the time being. Yeah, it looks like that sniper was able to, uh, you know, inflict a casualty, scare them all away. You can see the mortars are just kind of landing in all around these anti-tank guns, doing a pretty good job there. And uh, yes, yes, he has activated it. We do have double Panthers on the field right now. Uh, that is a, it's a huge investment to get all of that tech and then to get the ability unlocked, but then uh, as soon as you can save up for it and dump the Panthers out of the battlefield. If the Allies aren't ready for it, that is a huge, huge advantage. You can see, though, uh, that they really have lost a lot in the meantime, though. Uh, heavy Machine Gun Team, operated by Epiphany, may not be aware of the impending doom, and oh, speaking of impending doom, we have the Artillery Barrage, the Howitzer shots landing down across all of them. Uh, Epiphany cannot be doing too well right now. He has taken on, uh, you know, he's just been getting beat up quite a bit here, but, you know, plenty more troops where that came from. Uh, you can see here, he does have uh, his heavy machine gun team and sniper holding on on this side of the map, but the Panthers are going to come out here, and that is going to be pretty fantastic. Panthers obviously are not that good. Oh, nice looking hand grenade right there. A few more shots maybe taking out the rest of that heavy machine gun team. Will they do it? Will he? Oh, and he takes them out, and he does indeed. Uh, like I said, the Panthers don't have the best uh, effectiveness versus infantry until they get vetted up a little bit, and... Uh, Yes, the Panzer Elite can vet them up just through fighting, even though they don't have, like, you know, the Kampfkraft Center to vet things up. Uh, but that'll work out. Look at this. In front of two Panthers picking up this MG42 and gonna run home with it. Oh, fantastic. And look at that. Free German technology. Why not? Anyhow, so the Germans really do need to cap this victory point at some point here. Unfortunately, uh, most of their troops are tied up right now. As you can see, 
Um, all of the Panzer Grenadiers are here in the rear. Uh, they need to resupply and whatnot. Machine Gunners are going to have a hard time trying to capture. Mortar Team's not going to capture. Anti-Tank Gun's not going to capture. Vehicle's not going to capture. So unfortunately, they're having a hard time holding onto their front right now. Uh, so the Panzers are, or sorry, the Panthers are probably going to be uh, relegated to just kind of defensive duties there. Uh, we could still see mortar shots kind of landing randomly in the forest here, perhaps trying to find a sniper or something like that. I guess there used to be an anti-tank gun over here. Uh, but who knows what's going on over there. Uh, meanwhile, we just kind of have a beehive of activity, just lots of little troops kind of scurrying back and forth here, uh, getting resupplied. Uh, the medic uh, station obviously doing a good job there. And the rifleman, you can see, laying landmines, of course, because he is infantry specialized at this point. Uh, for the time being here, no sign of anything from anybody else. I'm going to check out uh, the real Slim Shady's point of view here. Check out the mini-map. Uh, as you can see, uh, there is a little bit of capping going on up here. Nothing too fancy, though. And uh, Slim Shady has occupied this building right now with his rifleman. He does not have Browning automatic rifles or anything like that. And, uh, ooh, by the way, I failed to point this out right away. He does have Allied War Machine out there. Uh, let's take a look at his base and see if he's got any sort of tech going up right now. Uh, that would indicate anything further. Uh, looks like for the time being, yes, he does have his tank depot up right now. Uh, so likely we're going to see something out of him. Uh, Allied War Machine, however, will be able to replace lost units. Uh, and obviously is a prerequisite of getting Calliope's. Man, look at this massive looking uh, German assault coming through the middle. Just kind of picking off lots of retreating units right now. Uh, we can see this medic right here is picking up a gentleman who's even wearing a very heavy communications backpack. Uh, but as you can see, I don't know why I zoom in on these details when clearly there's an anti-tank gun that's about to get murdered here. Uh, anti-tank gun is just... Oh, God, just a few more shots and a Panzer Shrek to boot. There we go. I kind of question the validity of charging this far forward, honestly. I mean, there's no machine gun nest or anything like that. Uh, but really, the Axis just needs to be capping these victory points right now. Or, you know, strategic points and the fuel points and, you know, all this other stuff on the map right now needs to be captured. Uh... And uh, it's going to be kind of dangerous. Uh, if they just run up here and fight a lot and then run out, it's a lot less uh, interesting than if they run up, capture some stuff while distracting. As you can see, there is no shortage of riflemen right now. In fact, uh, the medic station is just paying itself off. I have no idea how many troops have come out of it so far. Uh, but Slim Shady has one, and uh, Super Silver Reloaded has got four out there right now. So uh, still keeping the rifleman army strong, uh, given that both of them specialize in a different things going later here. I am on Super Silver's point of view right now. You can see he's got double snipers in the field right now. One on the left-hand flank, one on the right-hand flank. Three kills for this gentleman. And uh, it seems like... Oh, we got some howitzer shots coming in here right now, too. Uh, trying to take out these gentlemen here who are... Oh, look at that howitzer right there. Uh, absolutely wrecked a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of those poor Volkskrenadiers as well as the mortar uh, just got picked off there. That howitzer is all the way back in his base. As you can see, really busy looking base here. Uh, howitzer just going to be picking away at things for the time being. Uh, and unfortunately, these Panthers are not getting a lot done. Um, just for lack of units that can capture stuff. They can push up as far as they want. Although, honestly, you always want to run away from... Uh, Riflemen and man, I do not want to be a rifleman in this game There are a lot of them and they are doing a great job, but they are doing it at the cost of riflemen I mean they are taking casualties. They are being pinned and suppressed like constantly uh, You can see here. They are just distracting like mad so the snipers can get some shots off uh, One more sniper shot should take care of that. Uh, we can see some mortar shots going around here Oh, no, what did he fire at? Did he fire? Sniper, do it! Do your thing, Sniper! Oh, there he goes, taking out the machine gun. That'll help out a little bit. The Jeep now moving up, but unfortunately, uh, Pack 38 was just sitting there camouflage right now, wrecking that Jeep, letting that man cartwheel in the air. Uh, we can see here that the Volksgrenadiers have been upgraded with the MP40s. Uh, they are charging into close combat right now. Not that there's melee combat in this game, but, uh, you know, they do a lot of damage up close with those things. And uh, for the time being, it looks like all of the allies have been scattered away from the center once again, and we just have a whole bunch of firing going on. So, uh, stuff is looking pretty good here. Uh, sniper is backing away. Here we have our first M10 tank destroyer on the field right now by Da Real Slim Shady. Let's take a look and see if he's building anything else here. Uh, doesn't quite look like it for the time being here, but that's fine. That's all fine. Uh, uh, let's take a look here and see what we got coming up here in the north. Ooh, look at this. A little bit of flanking action going on by Da Real Slim Shady over on the left-hand side. Uh, always good just to kind of constantly wage this sort of warfare all, all over the place right now. Uh, artillery fire. Do I hear artillery fire? Where is it? There it is. Artillery fire being used. Uh, just to pick this thing off. I believe that is the howitzer shot, actually. Yep. Whenever you see the trail, you know it's the howitzer shot there. And it sounds like Silver, uh, Super Silver Reloaded just got rapid deployment. I heard that little voice in my ear while that was going on. So you can build infantry even faster. And uh, here comes the M10 tank destroyer. Just going to kind of scatter some of these troops. But he's got to be careful because there are plenty of Panzer Grenadiers out there with the tank... <laughs> sorry, with the Panzer Shreks right there. Uh, doing a lot of damage. He's going to have to back up right now before he takes too much damage there. Uh, get some repairs. No problem. 
No problem. Whoa, taking a lot of damage there. Panzer check moving up. Panther moving up now. Uh, continue repairing. Oh, main gun goes back down again. Whoa, whoop. There goes the main gun. And it goes back off again. Losing the same main gun twice within like two seconds. Uh, that is hard, hard work there. But as you can see, just massive. Man, this is like Eastern Front style Russian warfare here. Uh, these guys are just blobbing up and charging. And honestly... The Panther needs to retreat away from them. I haven't seen a Sticky Bomb yet that I'm aware of, but uh, you always got to pretend like you have them. And as a result, the Allies can always bluff that they have them and just charge on forward. And you can see the Panthers are retreating away. You just kind of herd them along. On the right-hand side, we can see here that it looks like uh, some Volkswagen just capping away. Uh, capping away stuff all across the map. That's not looking too bad, actually. The riflemen, once again, I mean, you can just see the bodies piling up everywhere, but there are so many of them blobbed up there with the Browning Automatic Rifles that they really do the right deal. Uh, do a lot of damage there. So, anti-tank guns moving up there for the time being. Push back the Germans yet again. However, it is 2 to 1, 384 to 419. Uh, the Germans are up 419 points right now. So... Ooh, so let's take a look around and see how we're doing in terms of tank destroyers. Uh, any any more news on that front? Yeah, it looks like he's building some more here on that side. And uh, more towards the middle anti-tank guns. What's going on here? I thought I heard some explosions happening over here. Oh, our howitzer is firing across the way. Where is that howitzer firing for the time being here? I'm trying to take a look around here and see. There he goes. Uh, he's taking some good shots at the front of the base here. Uh, wrecking away at this stuff. Oh, man. Yeah, he totally just took out an anti-tank gun uh, while he was doing all that. Uh, meanwhile, we do have the Naval Werfer uh, returning fire. Where is that Naval Werfer? Oh, right in his base as well. That's not fun. I'm uh, going to drop the uh, Naval Werfer shots there. I always like to try and pronounce that correctly. Uh, doing some damage here. Uh, that's all looking good. You just got to be aware of the fact that uh, the ground burns a little bit longer. So, you, you know, you'll take burning damage as you walk. You just, you just got to be aware of the fact that there's burning damage there, especially if you have a lot of wounded right, a lot of wounded. Oh no, an, an extra wounded rifleman casualty there did the burning damage at the last second there, but that's fine. During all of this, uh, <laughs> during all of these distractions here, you can see the allies have pushed in far, farther, and here we have a beautiful flank coming. Three M10 Wolverine tank destroyers on the field right now. You can see the lead tank destroyer taking quite a bit of damage. I'm going to go ahead and jump on over to the real Slim Shady's point of view here. Uh, you can see he got some beautiful flanks going on right now. Um, unfortunately, you can see they're just not terribly effective at taking out anti-tank guns. I mean, they have to get lucky and just randomly kill somebody. Uh, but as soon as this uh, Panther shows up here, they really can't hang out for too long with an unaccounted for pack out there. So as you can see, they're just going to retreat away for the time being. All three of them getting a little bit beat up there. But, eh, you know, at least he bailed out when the uh, timing didn't quite work out there. Uh, Vet 2 Rifleman here. Ooh, getting picked off by some mortars. And uh, where is that mortar team anyways? Uh, where did I see it? Mortar team? No, I have no idea where the mortar team went. I think it was right here. Never mind. Mortar team is dead. No more mortars there anymore. So we can see the riflemen here moving through the center right now, putting lots of damage on all these gentlemen. And uh, once again, I don't really know the validity of that. Uh, it looked like our Panzer Elite friends just kind of pushed all the way up through the center there. Uh, we can see the Vet 1 Panther is up here right now. And he, again, he can stand his own versus the, ri the uh, riflemen pretty well. Uh, but still, it's going to be a little while here uh, before... Uh, they're sure of it. Oh, okay, there we go. We had the mortar half-track on the field there. That's what was going on there. Anyhow, riflemen pushing up on all sides right now. Again, massive, massive infantry stuff going on here. And we do have a calliope on the field. Uh, well, at least calliope potential on the field right now. I'm sure that that is exactly what Slim Shady is uh, saving up for right now. Uh, but definitely the artillery heavy infantry plus the calliope armor. Pretty cool, pretty cool. That gives you all sorts of crazy stuff there. And oh man, check it out. We do have an artillery strike being called down right on top of this mortar half track. Everybody got to get out of there right now. Uh, as you can see, the sniper is running away. I think a single casualty happened right there for the uh, heavy machine gun team, but everybody else is probably going to get out of there just fine. Just got to, you know, be careful about that sort of thing. And uh, we see, I'm uh, just going to scatter the rest of them. I'm sure they'll be fine. Uh, looking more towards the center. Again, uh, these Panthers are, you know, they're... They're uncountered on the field right now, but they're also not countering anything in particular. So unfortunately, their sudden presence on the game didn't really do anything. Uh, the you know the Greyhounds were already dead on the field when that happened. And here we have our Calliope. Oh, our Calliope is firing away like crazy. Let's see where this gentleman is firing. And oh, firing directly upon the Naval Verfers who are also returning. Oh, taking out one before it even fired. That was brutal. I don't know where the, the old Nebs are firing there, but uh, doing some pretty good damage there. And uh, going to have to get... Oh, and the howitzer comes back in. That was a double whammy. Look at that first howitzer shot. Getting nice and lucky there. Even wrecking the gun. Both guns down. All crew down. Uh, the total coordination there. I guess that's where the Nebelwerfer was firing. Uh, and it looks like these gentlemen are just going to move up and capture that point for the time being here. 